At the beginning of time, the Earth was ruled by the Titans, powerful deities who were the sons of the primordial gods. Prometheus was one of them, a deity as old as time itself, who could foresee the future. The Titan predicted the victory of the Olympic gods over the Titans during the Titanomachy, the great war between gods and Titans for supreme power. He did not oppose Zeus during the conflict and escaped from being imprisoned in Tartarus together with the other Titans. When the conflict ended, Zeus ordered Prometheus and his brother Epimetheus to create and populate the land with the most diverse animals. The Titans had plenty of raw material, and while Epimetheus was molding every kind of creature, Prometheus coordinated the production process. Each animal was given a talent. The birds were given the ability to fly. The elephant was granted an enormous strength, and the talents were evenly distributed. Man was saved for the end. They wanted to do something special. However, after shaping man from clay, they realized that all talents had already been attributed to the other animals. Prometheus presented his work to the goddess Athena. She felt marveled by the Titan's work and decides to bless it with the divine breath. This is how humanity came to be. But Prometheus was not happy with the result. He wanted man to stand out over all animals. He was just a smarter monkey. Man lived in caves, dodging every kind of animal, subsisting on fruits that dropped on the ground, fearing and dreading darkness. Athena advises Prometheus to introduce fire to man. With the sunset, the Titan headed to Helios's carriage, which was waiting for a new dawn. Prometheus lit the torch that would be given to humanity. With fire, man started to develop rapidly. Weapons and tools were created, and man began to dominate nature. Prometheus was finally happy. He was humanity's good maker. Watching the blooming of this new creature, Zeus decreed that they would honor the gods by offering sacrifices. But Prometheus interceded on behalf of humanity, preventing his creation from being exploited. Prometheus was very clever and attempted to deceive the god on behalf of men. Prometheus asked for a bull to be sacrificed to the gods. The product of the sacrifice would be split into two piles. One was smaller, but contained the best meats covered by the animal's skin. The other pile was bigger, but it only contained bones and entrails. These were wrapped in fat, which made the offering look attractive. The cunning Prometheus knew that Zeus's ambition would make him choose the bigger pile, while man would have the best part. And he was right. Realizing that he had been tricked, Zeus was furious with those who had deceived him and decided to take the fire out of the hands of humanity. Without the fire, mankind started to regress. They were again tormented by darkness and cold and could no longer cook their food. Outraged, Prometheus decided to steal the sacred fire and give it back to man. During the night, he went to Olympus and returned with the flame stolen from Hephaestus's forges. With the reestablishment of fire dominance, mankind was thriving once more. But the glowing flames attracted Zeus's attention during the night. Furious, the supreme god decided that Prometheus could not go unpunished given his insolence. He imprisoned him on a rock in the Caucasus to endure eternal punishment for defying Zeus's decisions. But Prometheus's punishment wasn't simply life imprisonment. His torment would be terrible. Zeus decided that a dreadful bird would be responsible for devouring his liver, 
instigating immeasurable pain. Prometheus was an immortal titan. With that said, after being torn apart by the odious bird, his liver regenerated just to be attacked again by the animal the next day. The titan endured this punishment throughout many and painful years. Then, Zeus came down to earth and offered him freedom if he hid the knowledge of fire from man. As humanity's benefactor, Prometheus rejected the god's offer and decided to sacrifice himself for his creation. With that, humanity could prosper thanks to Prometheus's martyrdom.